Okay, there you go. So, it's been forever since my last video vlog. Well, technically I got home from Florida, and it was the weekend, first weekend back, and I said that I was going to go out with some friends for work to go to see a high school play. And I was getting ready, and I had coffee, and I spilled it on my laptop, so that laptop was not working. So, since then, it's been eight weeks, maybe? And a lot has happened. So, I took off to that night. That night, I went to the high school play with Sophie from work, and then we went to go buy 40 of vodka, because it was Saturday night, and see what would happen. We went to Burger King, and I don't know if I mentioned how to record that, because the guy that I hooked up with was like a hookup buddy, but then it just didn't work out, because all the things make out, it was really weird. Well, he was working, and we've been kind of working lately again, and little text messages, but nothing like serious. I didn't think anything was going to happen. And so, him and Casey were there, and Casey was having issues with his girlfriend again. And we were like, well, let's just go get drunk, and we had nowhere to go. So then I was like, driving around with Sophie, and I called him up. I'm like, can you guys get the number for Pray to Lack In? And they were like, really? So, I called up Pray to Lack In, and I made a reservation for the night. So... We decided to all go there after after they got off work. It was like midnight, and we were drinking. And I don't know. It was like ten minutes. And me and Patrick were making out already in the bathroom. And we were like, "This isn't fun." So we we're like, "Let's go to Quebec. Let's go back. It's like an hour away, and there's bars, and we can all get in." So we ended up driving to Quebec. I was freaking hammered, so I know I was hooking up in the back seat. And then we got to Irving. That was a halfway point. Me and Sophie went to go pee, and then. We were in the bathroom and I like, like, pulled me to the boys' bathroom. And Sophie was like mid conversation with me. She didn't know where I went. So I hooked up in the boys' bathroom. That early, I hooked up in the car. We got to the bar. All four of us were in the bar. I actually had a picture of it, like in the girls' bathroom. All four of us, two guys and two girls. I know I hooked up in the bathroom. Blacked out at some point. Then I know I hooked up on the pool table in the bar with people looking at me. So it's pretty epic. But I don't remember all of it. And then somehow we went back to the hotel. I know we had sex in the bath, in the shower, and Casey and Sophie's brother came in and they like pretty much saw us naked and having sex, which is really awkward, but that happened, and then I woke up the next morning in bed with Sophie, so I, although nothing happened with Sophie, we were in separate blankets and caught up on the floor, so I probably pushed them off, which is kind of funny, and then since then, that was just really quick night, we started picking up randomly at work just for fun. And then a couple of weeks later, we went to the bar jack again together and we got really drunk and he asked me if I liked him, which I had liked him, but I just didn't tell him and everybody else knew I liked him and I guess people know he liked me, but we just didn't tell each other and then we told each other. And we literally dated for three days and then we broke up in a text message, which is really childish. And then Sophie stopped talking to me because Patrick got really drunk and told her that I'd be pills and that I wanted to go to prom with him and not the other Patrick Toner, which I work with who has a big crush on me. And I love Patrick Toner, just not that way. And we're going to prom together, which is in a few more weeks. So it's a good thing I'm getting you up to date with this. So Sophie stopped talking to me. And, well, a few weeks later, I just opened with Patrick and we had sex in his bathroom, which is right over there. Because I'm in the staff room right now. And I don't know if I want this on the internet, even though I'm pretty sure nobody sees my online blog that I got pregnant. And I tried telling him at work, and he made a big joke of it and was like, we'll be abortion then. And it pissed me off. And he didn't talk to me, and his friend Jane started talking to me, and his friend Jane kind of, I don't know, was interested in me. And I might have kissed him, but it was more so because I wanted him to tell Patrick and Patrick to get jealous, which is really stupid because he did tell Patrick, and I don't know if Patrick is jealous or what, but he started talking to me again. But anyways, I told him that I got an abortion, but I actually lost the baby about a week after I found out, which, I don't know, I didn't actually cry over it, and I didn't think it was a big deal, I know it's kind of selfish, but in a weird way it was kind of a good thing because I'm going to college and monthly as well. I don't want a baby with a high school kid. <sighs> I like and it's just really complicated. So I think I'm not coming. It's probably gonna interrupt my online blog and I'm probably like, what the heck are you doing?
Okay, now back to the baby thing. So, after I told my husband Bush on the internet, he got really pissed off and stopped talking to me and he went back to his ex-girlfriend and Ryan and they were like in love. And I got pissed off. So, I showed her all the messages to him and me when they were kind of seeing each other and she got pissed off. So, the next day we were at work and we were fighting like we always do. And I don't know where he's like, what's well, why he's he told my aunt that he lost me, because I told his aunt the truth, because she passed me, and I kind of broke down to her when I was And also, I just started crying. It was the first time I ever cried over it, and he, like, hugged me, and it was really kind of felt good. And at the same time, she was, like, over in the corner, like, what are you thinking? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And I'm like, ah, uh, too much. So, that was just this weekend, actually. So we started texting again, he apologized to me, I apologized to him, and I'm like, okay, we're friends, you know. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I just wanted you to feel bad, because I wanted you to feel bad, because I don't know why he said that, I wish he just to talk to me to begin with, and then we could have gotten through this together, it so much better. And so, two nights ago, Monday, I was with, he was doing supervising, and we're hanging out with a new girl who's the virgin, who's going to be a big part of my new blogs, and we call her the virgin, because I know where she told us that she was a virgin that night, and it was so funny. She's like, I'm a virgin because all my boyfriends didn't want babies. And we're like, well, you can't have sex and not have babies. I'm so going to contaminate her mind. But anyways, back to the point. So, I just started flirting with me again in front of everyone. And we were trying to make her feel awkward. So I was like, putting out a rock. I was trying to my hands. It was, it was funny. And he said them both on break at the same time. So I'm assuming this is like a little move. We just got left alone. So, I went to go kiss him. And I was like, oh, don't to go on him. And then he's like, no, no. And he's like, ha. Rejection, rejection, and he comes. And I'm like, oh my god, I've never been rejected before in my life, because really, I haven't. But then he randomly kept coming up to me and like poking me into the room, and like, haha, you got rejected, poor baby. And then I was getting ready to leave, and I'm like, oh, that's my life. And I signed like, off my money, and I went downstairs. But here's the weird thing I left the bathroom door open, it was almost like I expected it, and I know where he comes, and he like pushes me up against the wall and started making out with me. I was doing it for him because usually I do on this. I was just like, what? And he's like, nobody can know our secret. I'm like, okay. <sighs> and so now I'm left off at, I don't know what we are, what we're not, or if he's a creative. He knows I like him though. It's weird because I told him on the weekend and he asked me because we were talking about what I told his aunt. He's like, he told you, my aunt that you like me. So I'm like, yeah. So he knows I like him. I don't know what's going to go on. I'm going to Moncton this fall. Back to that. Which is going to be pretty good. Because we need to get out of the shithole of the town. I'm going to Ulta in college. We're going to take business administration. Also recently found out that two girls from work are knocked up. They're both two months pregnant. So they're no best friend. But she, you know, stopped working out when I left her roommate. And Maisel, who's actually my new BF at work tight like this. And she's going to be coming in soon. She's going to wonder why the hell I have an online blog and why I'm blogging it here at work. But, you got to miss out on a lot in two months and I really had to like sum it up. So yeah, and that was basically the sum up. Anyways, hopefully I'll have this loaded tonight when I get home. So you want me to turn that? Anyways, later guys.